think it's just a wonderfully healthy exercise. Seems so different from sex, drugs and cold chisel. I sort of found there's a lot more to life than just just sex, drugs and rock and roll. Fitness fads come and go, but the hottest one hasn't exactly sprung onto the scene. It's called the Pilates method. It was developed in World War I and based on springs. Seems all sort of people are doing it, including former cold chisel rocker Ian Moss. A man of contrasts, Ian Moss, cold chisel guitar legend. Out of the spotlight and onto the stretcher. Everything you do is, is done uh, very focused. Uh, the body position has got to be very accurate. Uh, you move very slowly in it while maintaining position and uh, breathing is very important. Ian is doing a Pilates workout, a non-impact, non-weight-bearing exercise that's been around since World War I. I uh, think it's just a wonderfully healthy exercise because, it's, uh, because, of, because of the uh, accuracy in it that, that's involved. Uh, you, you, you're taught to become very aware of how the body works and you're taught how to focus on muscles you never knew were there before. Yeah, reverse. This? Yeah. Yep. Helping him out, his de facto and instructor, Megan. Uh oh, who's that hothead outside hooting his horn? Better known as Alice from the Sullivans. Pilates has lived in the dance world for a long, long time. And it's actually been sort of a little protected, I think, by the dance community. You know, it's, this is our thing. We don't, we don't let this out. But um, it has snuck out and there's a huge boom in, in the States. There's something like 600 studios in the States now. And it's getting bigger and bigger every day. Inhale, bend in half. Lats working. Megan has left acting backstage okay, to just, run just her own Pilates up. studio. Go down a little lower with the shoulders, Nicole. There, there, and come from here. Push from the back of the leg. Good. Nicole Rhodes is a soloist for the Australian Ballet. For that, she thanks this. I really, really got heavily into Pilates when I had a knee reconstruction and um, it was rehabilitation for me. So I came to Megan to rehabilitate and work out. Just a couple more like that, get those heels together. It works, definitely. Well, I'm back fully dancing after a full knee reconstruction, so I'd have to say it works, yeah. <laughs> Pull them right down into my hands. Right down, 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 down. There, there, good. Now let go of the bar, but don't move your hands. Another ballet dancer, Nicole Marshman, has difficulty getting appointments when she's at home in Melbourne. It's actually becoming very popular and it's very hard to get in at the moment in Melbourne. Yeah, we're fighting for spaces. Last May, we brought you the story of the resurgence in Pilates. New South Wales State Opposition Leader Bob Carr was in on the act. Well, it's getting busier. Is it a fad? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I don't th it, it, it's been around too long to be a fad. I mean, people are just looking for a safer way to exercise. Bass players and guitarists tend to have a slight hinge point in the middle of the back because there's, there's a sort of weight, there's a slight leaning and turning towards this direction, I guess, because as you're looking at the neck, so there's a slight twist and hinge in the middle of the back there, which um, sort of is quite a, a cumulative uh, after weeks on the road. Is it as hard as being on stage? Hard as being on stage? <laughs> in terms of workout? Um... Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's pretty different. I mean, it's, it's sweat just as much on stage, but then again, you've got the lights and, and so much heat generally in the venues you're playing, you're playing at. It seems so different from sex, drugs and cold chisel. Maybe we sort of did that in, in the very early days, but sort of found there's a lot more to life than just just sex, drugs and rock and roll. <laughs> 
For now, Ian is putting together his third solo album and getting right into Pilates. Oh, yeah. 